shit, shit. <laughs> there we go. I hate that. I go to record, and you know, all of a sudden, like, stops the game thing because it started recording. It, oh, fuck it. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, guys? Carson's back here with Toxic Gaming, and we're back on Pokemon Emerald. As you guys saw from the little grindy montage thing, I'll just show you right here. We got the little tubs up here up to level 15. Just, I was gonna. <laughs> What happened was I was gonna bring tubs just up to level 14, and I kind of got just like distracted from like watching TV while I was grinding, just to kind of not focus so much on it. And he got to level 15, and I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, let's get Gil let's get everyone else up to level 15." So I got Gil up to level 15 because it was easy, almost right there. And then Iggy, Boombox, and Jazz Hands came in. I was planning on using Jazz Hands for a little for the majority of this episode, or at least the part that I'm gonna be battling in. But then these two were like. It was going to be so damn hard to grind up, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. They're not going to be used probably much in this gym anyway, as much as I can. Or as much as I don't have to. So, I'm not going to grind them up specifically. But we got tubs here. As you see, as you saw from the last episode. I believe, yeah, I believe it was the last episode we caught him in. Not two episodes ago, I believe it was the last one. But the biggest thing is, he got both arm... Oops, not sand attack. He got both arm thrust here, which is just like bullet seed, but for fighting types. And vital throw, which is hella power for this... Like level but it moves last as you saw there so that's gonna be rough and Gil didn't learn anything new I believe all he was gonna learn is bide and I said fuck that noise <laughs> and so let's yeah let's do this now and I'm planning on this this episode and I just started there hardcore but to take on this gym and see what happens and yeah <laughs> um, again welcome back to the channel guys if you for those of you who are kind of maybe new or went away for a little while as I was obviously away for a week since the last episode and or you know maybe eight days now I don't know I think it's gonna be around seven or eight days when I put this up um but just so you guys know the whole reason of me but like having to uh or not having to I guess I, the reason I went away from the channel for a little while was I had a hell of a week for school, and I hate I hate using that as an ex like an excuse for it. But the best thing I can compare it to is like when you have a group project due, and most of your group decides they don't want to work on the project until the last second. Oh, shit's grand. Then when that happens, I fucking love that. Said nobody ever. <laughs> so we basically have been working on shit for the last week that was supposed that could have been done most of the semester, but our group decided never to meet. So, yeah, that was interesting, so we got stressed out from that. Plus some other things that just didn't need to stress about, but I did. Which we all have those days. And, uh, so I had to get, kind of go away from the channel for a little while. I'll give you guys the, um, update video, which if you haven't watched the update video, go back and watch that. That kind of explains my new mindset of how I'm kind of going to look at YouTube now. Hey, look at Jazz Hands is already up to level 15. Didn't even need to train him. But it's kind of my new mindset, my new ideas for what I want to do with this channel. And what I mean by that, I'll explain it a little bit now, but still go back, go back to the last episode for full detail about it. And what I mean is, when I started the channel, I had the idea of just um, playing Pokemon and Skyrim and just because I was playing them already, and just playing them on here because I could. <laughs> and that was really it. There was no real reason for me to play on here. It was put, play on YouTube. Or play on shit. Let me let's pause. <laughs> there was no real reason for me to play them and then put them to YouTube. Besides just put them to YouTube. And the reason I kind of gave myself for that, like to verify it or validify, validate. There's the word. <laughs> to validate it is to uh, was just simply. I wanted to make money, and after really, not that that wasn't happening, it was obviously not nearly where I wanted to be. But I was, I started, to, I started to lose that little bit of like, enjoyment with these games, and I knew that wasn't a good thing. Like that, was, that was never a good thing to have that happen. And so I just took a little step back, watched a lot of the other YouTubers that I was. Uh, that I am still currently fans of, just kind of see like how they thought about when they were doing the Let's Plays, what their mindsets were during it, and it made me think like, why am I doing this if not to entertain you guys? Like I really had to go back and think about it. So hopefully, 
you guys are now watching this with better content available for you guys because I want to now entertain you guys as much as I really can. Fuck you, Vital Throw. Fucking A, I hate that move so goddamn much. Like, I hate that move so fucking much. Good. You're not being useful. Good, don't miss. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go quiet there for a second. I was really concerned for Gil here, our little buddy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I want to just kind of give you guys more entertainment aspect of it. Even if my voice isn't as entertaining, I've been told I could... I've been told that for my new major that I could technically try radio out, but... It's always more entertaining with radio when you have someone else there to talk to you. <laughs> but I'm going to try to make it as best I can for you guys and as engaging as I can, and I'm more than welcome to any constructive criticism in the comment section. Hell, you can just tell me I'm all downright bad if you want me to, but... You just talk to me about it, and yeah, I'll just do that for you guys. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry guys, kind of duty called and jobs had to happen, so that's where I had to go. But as far as you guys know, I never left, <laughs> which is great. And that's the reason I love editing. This is like, oh, nothing ever actually happened. I hate that there's a fucking double battle in here. I hate double battles in like this generation, or at least this early in the game. And you're trying to like do a nuzzle because this shit can get so fucking intense. <laughs> I just don't like it, especially in the fighting game. That's the worst one to have a fucking nuzzle on. Or have a fucking double battle in. It's like, no, fuck that meta type first off. I'm not going at you until I can just go at you and not have to worry about damn anything. <laughs> I know what move you carry, and that's bullshit. Tub. Look at that work that Tubbs, Tubbs puts in. I fucking love it. Oops, I'm gonna do this first, just in case he decides to go for that. Don't be dead. But look at that fucking work Tubbs put in. Fucking get a critical hit too. That a boy, Gil. Gil coming through. Yeah. He wasn't ready. Yep, this move. This is the only reason I'm a little. Oh, crit. <laughs> Man, it's like co <laughs> fucking Gil coming through. What did I say? That a boy. Oh, level 16. I think I know what might happen just now. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Yeah, Gil. <laughs> I have no idea what that noise I just made. I was just really excited. Mudshot, yep, yep, you're getting that. <laughs> you're getting that. I'm taking Growl out. I'm keeping Mud Slap. Because Mud Slap came in handy before with that accuracy little downgrading thing. So why not keep it? I believe that's actually everybody here. And so what I'm actually gonna do. Oops, not this. I was not gonna do that. I'm gonna switch tubs into first. Because we're gonna keep Gil on the back burner for his ace, because Gil's now our strongest Pokemon. And Tubbs will now be the one to lead off the team, because he can resist and fight the actual fighting type moves. And if I, if I believe right, he only has two Pokemon, so Tubbs can really take it out. It's really Tubbs and Gil should do the most work in this entire gym. I still. Fuck it. Oh shit, what, what did I touch? I touched some button that that sound came up on, I don't know where it was. Tubbs and Gil should be able to take care of- ooh, there's one more trainer up here. Let's get it. <laughs> Not missing out on experience on a Nuzlocke, that's one thing I've learned is you need every fucking ounce of experience points you can get. And this is not smart. This was not smart to have Tubbs up front for this guy. So let's go Jazz Hands. Um, so yeah, by doing my whole, like, having to go do my job real fast, I completely forgot my train of thought from where I was before. You know, when you're gone for my time, roughly 45 minutes, then, you know... Actually, was it 45 minutes? It felt like 45 minutes. Probably was only like 10. But it always feels like an hour. Um... If I was talking about my update video, still, I want you guys to go check that out. And not just check it out to like get view count or anything. I want to actually know your guys' opinions about what I was talking in that video. Um, I'll give you guys a little. I've thought about it more that stuff that wasn't in the video. 
And the way I'm kind of thinking about heading in a good direction with this channel is doing weird and funky sets on Showdown. And by what I mean is basically sets that aren't, not viable, but just ones you don't see often. But I'll get more of that later. Hopefully before he, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something that I forgot to do. And this is gonna be a very long little walk, but I'm gonna record every second of it so that you guys know what I'm doing. Um, but what the word I'm gonna think we're going with it, and by fucking ambush on but what I mean by uh, ooh, I can go to Slayport already. Well, cool, but I'm going back to Petalburg. Am I going to Slayport yet? Um, but what I was thinking is, <laughs> let me actually start on this topic. Was doing fun and weird sets, and the one example I have is I actually have two examples. But the one example I have of like an actual vi set that was viable and has been used before just isn't used much now, especially with the old, new Oras metagame, and wasn't used actually much even in X and Y. And that was simply, he's got just a potion, fucking god damn it. Nah, yeah, fuck, I'll buy a lot of potions then. Buy 20 potions, because that's all you guys have. Um, but a Pokemon that wasn't used much in, or the set that wasn't used much was Bellyzard X. <laughs> and by that I mean Belly Drum Charizard X. I have one that I've used before and people were like, were like, oh my god, I forgot about Belly Drum. Well, Belly Drum can work so well. So like, that's why I love, that's why I love using that set if I use a Charizard X set. And, uh... I'm actually not going to speed this up so I have a little more time to talk. <laughs> that's one That's one I think, and then I would build a team around that type of set, one that was viable and is viable still, but it isn't seen all that often. And then there's going to be the other types of sets where it's just picking a random move, kind of on a random Pokemon that you wouldn't see normally. And the one I think about that, the example, is uh, Seismitoad, which is the one I have currently, is a uh, special defensive seismitoad with stealth rock, toxic, scald, and I believe, oh yeah, and the weird move is um, refresh. Just to kind of maybe predict the switch out so they try to bring in grass type to really take you out, you refresh if you have a status ailment, or you stealth rock if you don't, and then toxic if you want to do that. Like, you have very good utility options. But refresh isn't commonly used. So I like seeing that on a seismitoad so I can kind of not outwit my opponent, but just be like, surprise them with a refresh, so they have to work all that hard to get back to the Toxic that they had. But anyway, more on that after this battle. And first thing I'm going to do, because for some reason I didn't save earlier, so I had to use, good thing I had a safe state for it and actually save the game. So, let's do this. I'm Brawley, Doofer's gym leader. I've been churned through the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. So you wanted to challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. Hey guys, okay. We're back, finally. What happened, and as you guys can probably tell, I haven't done anything since it happened. Since we saved, I went, we clicked on, saved. Or, shit, let me get my mind together, because I had to just deal with everything. We saved, I talked to him, did that whole dialogue thing. And the game crashed. <laughs> like, the bad music kept going and going and, like, looping, and then all of a sudden it started skipping, and then the entire thing, my Visual Boy Advanced software and everything just crashed. So, what's gonna happen today, like, I was talking to people about it, trying to figure out exactly what was going on, and I think we got it fixed, as long as this one doesn't crash. But, they were asking curious questions, like, we were trying to figure out, like, where are we at? I told them my team is levels. They told me to go grind more. <laughs> because even though, yes, it's not like a ROM hack or anything, 15, 16 is not going to be cutting it. So, what I decided to do is instead of taking taking him on, with them just telling me that, I was like, nah, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to have to grind more. And then I started thinking about him, like, I don't want to lose. <laughs> I guess I'd ra I really don't want to fucking lose. So, what I'm going to do now is just kind of... Turn it into a, uh, what do you call it? A little chill time here, just kind of grinding a little bit. And the reason being, I just don't want to fucking lose. Like, that's, I'm, that's my motivation. Is I will gladly get, like, Tubbs, um, 
was he called Jazz Hands and Gil up to like 16, 17, up to 17 probably before I even go back in there and try to challenge him because if people, if other people are telling me that like I need to do this, like there, you don't understand, like you need to do this, then I'm gonna actually go do it. Like there's no, I shouldn't just ignore what they're saying and lose the lock on the second episode because I'm too stubborn to go record more or to go try and a little bit more. Besides, you know what, it gives us a little break from what happened earlier. <laughs> By the, what happened earlier, I'd literally just me and us battling the trainers and getting confused. Hey Tubbs, you're pretty fucking stupid apparently. So I'm switching you out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do this. And I, what I'm gonna do actually is just kinda give you guys a little... I'm turning to Shadow Ball. Ooh, not even bad. Um, I'm just going to take this time to kind of explain to you guys a little bit what I actually am changing on the channel. And yeah, I did an update video, but the update video is more like an update on my own personal life. Not exactly everything that's going to have to do with the channel. So the update that's going to do with the channel is uh, going to be basically, as I was like talking before, I'm just going to kind of go in a little more in depth on it now that we're doing this instead of doing the gym leader right now. Doing like the weird sets and everything, the first probably, I would say maybe eight or nine videos because because I am so a smaller channel and we're just about to, I believe, just about to 20 subscribers, which, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know, at the time of this video, that's really small, but you know what, I'm happy. It means there's 20 people out there that thought my time was worth their time, or their time was worth my time. I don't know which way that's supposed to go, but either way. People out there thought that I was important enough to subscribe to, and I love that. Like, that gives me a huge boost in wanting to do this. And this new, the new series, I probably won't do it. Maybe until after the Emerald, or maybe I might. If you guys want it, want it, or interested in that type of series, I'll do it in accordance with Emerald. Which you know I can do both. It just take a little bit more time out of than what I usually have, but we'll see. I can probably get, I can more than I can get it done. If that's what you guys want me to do. Easy. Um, but, the way that the new series would work is, over the first six or seven episodes, depending on how much feedback I get on those early episodes, it would, uh, be like, I would pick the first six or seven Pokemon I'm gonna do. Like, I would probably, I would actually probably start off with that Charizard, that Bellizard X set, because of how rare you really see Charizard X in today's metagame on Oras and all of that with all the new Megas and everything, how rarely you see it. And now, like then also, and I'll probably make another episode talking about the Seismitoad and the NU tier that the way I like seeing it work and who I like pairing them with and all that. After that, like after those two specifically, I might just have to go searching through my boxes of Pokemon that I have, Pokemon sets that I've thought of, because I have a lot of weird sets in my PC box in my game. And then just use that, make a, make a team, or little entry video for it. Maybe, I don't, might have that on the same video, I don't know. Well, at least in the first video, explaining. Oh, I had to burp, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I literally was about to die if I didn't burp there for a second. No, okay, not literally, but you see what I mean. Um, but I you do figure out a different Pokemon to use in different sets for that in the first few. And then as soon as, well, I can't escape because you're going to fucking teleport. Nice. Cool. <laughs> um, but after they start getting a lot more support, and I have not a lot more, after they start getting support, you guys can tell me what Pokemon you want to see sets made of. Like, if you want to see a, as I'm just seeing it here on the screen, if you want to see a Haze, Super Fang, Roost, U-Turn, uh, like, Wall, Wall Breaker, uh, what do you call it? Crobat with Infiltrator to get through substitutes. Okay. <laughs> I believe I have one of those. I don't believe it has U-turn. I want to say it has like Brave Bird and Cross Poison. It has some other move besides no, that's not U-turn and Super Fang for damage, but fuck yeah, let's do it. I'm down with that. And I can make sets like that. That's what you guys want to see. And then if it hopefully, obviously, it be kind of grows into something that's interacting with me to you guys. And if you guys want to see just weird sets, like mixed Kingdra with focus in without the focus energy, but trying to still use the scope lens, you know, random shit like that. I'll, I'll try to make my best representation of the set that you want, 
make a team around it that I believe can actually work a little bit, and then go see what work it does. So, that's what I'm thinking about. I haven't really given it a name yet. Really. I haven't really thought of a name for it yet. I'm just kind of... The idea came to me a few months ago, actually, and then I forgot about it, and then when I started this, I was like, you know what, this is... This, when I started this episode, I can't fucking speak today. When I started this episode, I was like, you know what, this could be a cool little direction that makes my channel a little bit unique. I know there's a lot of people who do, like, sets and everything, but they, as I see it, they kind of do the more standard sets. Now, I also thought of one way to develop it, which I'm not going to reveal just yet, but I want to see how you guys think about this this different series to come up. And if you guys have any actual cool names for it, go ahead and put the cool name down in the comment section below, which I believe that's going to be, I'm going to make that the question of the day today, what you think my new series should be named. If you guys come up with something clever, I will love that and I will probably use it. Unless I think of something else that I believe is clever, but probably is dumb as shit. Okay, this training is taking a little bit longer than I thought, uh, thought because maybe there's a shit ton of Zubats. I know where I should go to train, and why am I even training in this part of the cave? I don't even know. Get the fuck out. Oh, you still lived on one goddamn HP, you stupid piece of shit. Jazz Hands doesn't hit himself at all. He does not give himself his own hands. I don't know if that makes sense, but okay. It just kind of made sense to me in my head, and... Okay, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with Zubats anymore, or at least not those Zubats anymore. I'll deal with the Zubats in here. Um, what else was I gonna say? There's something else I was gonna say, I can't fucking remember now what it is, though. Um, <laughs> I'm really blanking now on what I'm, what I'm gonna say, holy shit. Um, I guess anyway, what else I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna switch out now. Get Gil up here up front, get him up to level 17 before I go do this. Which, I feel really bad now that I'm thinking about it, like, why would they really warn me if, if like, are they just trying to troll me and make me waste my time? Hopefully that's not it, because, you know, they're my friends. But, are they really, like, that worried about Brawly? I mean, in X and Y, they're not X and Y, in Oras, I don't have a problem with him, but I mean, I, fuck, I used a March job, I had a team of, maybe like, three or four, like, it was nothing huge, but it was... Definitely not. I believe I might have had Marsh up at 16. I know I didn't have him up in seven, up at 17. Oh, he might have not even evolved yet. I don't remember exactly my first, on uh, my first playthrough where I was at this point. But I didn't have a fucking struggle in the world with it. I remember that. It was easy. Maybe it's also because I had a fucking tail low that could use fucking wing attack. If only Daisy could have hung around a little bit longer. That would have been nice. But nope. Daisy had to die. Sorry for the spoilers if you haven't watched seen that episode yet. But yeah, Daisy died. Just fucking stupid. It was a stupid thing. My own fucking fault, I believe, if I remember right. And it was not fun. I was very, very mad about it. Okay, I think I decided I'm only going to get Gil up to level 17 because of how long this is actually taking with these fucking Zubats. Come on. Here we go, 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 here we go. Here we go. It's a go. Here we go. Um, I say um a lot. I should really get away from that habit. It started to become a habit, and I really don't know why. It just kind of did. I know, I took a speech class my freshman year, and then just, the habit was, like, we were docked for it my speech class, and I never used it in any of my speeches. Like, I was very coherent on never using it in any of my speeches. I don't know why I was so good at it in the speeches, but in real life I say hum all the fucking time. I'm trying to think of things to say. It's annoying to me, but there we go. Gil's at 12 to 17 now. Okay. Let's get escape rope up out of this bitch. Spin around and then magically teleport. I don't get how the spinning around makes us magically teleport, but whatever. Ugh. Oh, I know what I should probably do when I think about it. Just in case. Ooh, Iggy has an item. Hey, Antidote. If only it was a super fucking potion. Give you that silk scarf. Oh, I have a hyper potion too. I forgot about that. Good job, Iggy. 
I'll get Boombox and then hype that little Silk Scarf just to, uh, what do you call it? In case I ever, in case I have to use him anytime real soon, he can power up from the, uh, normal type boost. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna save again, just in case something goes down that's not good. Just fucking in case. And then we're gonna do this too. Boom. Right, a different save state, just in case. And here we go. I still have fucking Gil leading, don't I? Oh shit. Fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> Whatever, looks like I'm switching up my, my fucking strategy for this game, this battle. That's what I wanted, not what I wanted to do, but... You know what, whatever. I'm not even gonna worry about mud, sla mud slapping you. I'm just gonna hit you as hard as I can just to kill you. Okay, you're gonna bulk up. Let's do this. I'm trying not to fuck around anymore. Like, if I got warned about this, and you know what? I don't need to be warned anymore. <laughs> it's to that point that, fuck you, Machop. Get the hell out of here. Okay, this Meditite, they warned me about. They warned me about Focus Punch. And I know Iggy can come in here, and if he can get a headbutt off and even just flinch him, because headbutt won't miss. Yep, there's the focus punch. Like, I was warned about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get beat by a goddamn focus punch. When I know how easy it is to get around focus punch, I'm not gonna get beat by it. I already flinched, too, on that one. Ha, <laughs> fucking Iggy for the flinch. Here we go. That a boy. That a boy, Iggy. I'm not gonna risk it if he's gonna yield, because sometimes... I thought about going for like the sand attack just that you know in case I miss with the headbutt he wouldn't maybe miss with the focus punch. But a little bit too many maybes for me to do it. <laughs> when I was pretty sure he was actually gonna heal. But Iggy needs to come. He fucking heals twice. God damn, maybe that's because he didn't heal on the Machop. He just had he's like, oh well, hell I got an extra fucking super potion. Might as well use it. Stupid thing. I'm looking at Iggy's name right now, and I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't look right. <laughs> Maybe because he's male. Yeah, I think that's it. I get it's a male fucking Zigzagoon. I gave him a girl name. Maybe Iggy's just gonna be a crossdresser. Is Iggy is Iggy a crossdresser? Asking the important questions. Apparently, that's what this fucking episode is gonna be about. Is asking the important questions. That's gonna be like the two questions in this in this let's play, right? In this episode right now is gonna be like. One, is Iggy a crossdresser? And two, what do you think of a name for a new series on the channel? And I'm bringing out Tubbs here because I'm going mono a mono with this Makuhita right now. Vital throw against vital throw. Like, we're not fucking around anymore. Oh my god, Tubbs. If Tubbs honestly would have just fucking killed him and just... <laughs> oh my god. That would have been too fucking perfect. Like, if he honestly would have just one shot, critical hit, done. Fuck you, Makuhita. Like if he would have done that, I would have been so hat proud of Tubbs. I would have been so proud, but can you take one? Well, I was really proud of Tubbs. And now, he's gone. Shit. God damn it. I just spent more time grinding, more than I really was originally going to. And I just spent more of it. And more. I wonder what is what does fucking nature power turn into when it's in, Oh it turns into swift. That's right. Nope, going for the bullet seed. I have to. I'm too scared not to. I need that full You're dead. Aren't you? I swear to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ as my fucking witness. He's gonna heal, I know it. I know he's gonna fucking heal. If he doesn't heal and he kills me, I will be so pissed. I will be, be, I will be beyond pissed. Gil, Gil, come on. Okay, good. Gil can at least live one. I know he's not gonna heal now. So I know I have a chance to knock him out with a water gun. Do I go for it? Yeah, fuck it, I'm going for it. I'm not letting him have a chance to... I'm not giving him a chance to crit me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck you, Magoita. 
fucking hate Mothweed. I hate this gym. I hate your TM. Like, okay, TM, give it to me. But I hate it when your Pokemon are using it. I hate how we lost. We lost our two members. One member didn't even make it a full, like, a full episode length on the team. The other one was our MVP from the last gym. And we lose them both. Fuck you, Brawly. Fuck you. I'm not, I'm not saying your exit speech. Nope, I don't even give a shit. Yeah, they're gonna fucking obey me. I don't even care. Give me your fucking bra uh, bulk up bullshit. Oh my god. Oh. I just got in a really kind of pissed off mood. I don't want to fucking talk to you on my Pokemon, you old bitch. Fuck out. No, I want to I wanna walk away from you. Yeah, walk away from you. God damn it. Now I gotta go put two more members in the death box. I've had so many people die. So many members die. This is not fucking fun anymore. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's still fun, but like seeing your teammates, seeing your team die is definitely not fun. So okay, I just have trash. I have literally little trash here, which technically I could have had him and either had confusion or fucking wing attack. But fuck off. There's Daisy. Tubbs, you were with us for one episode. I'm placing you there because we gotta put Jazz Hands Lombre in first because he was. Give me your item though. I can't take your item. I can't not take your item. I'll take it for a waiter. Lombre, Jazz Hands, you did very well on the team. Tubbs, you did really well for what you were doing. But, looks like we got Gil, Higgy, and Boom Boxing. That's what we're gonna roll with for right now because that's apparently all. Oops. I forgot to get it. I forgot to get that item. I bet you guys were like yelling at me, get the fucking item, and I'm a dumbass for not getting it. I got really, I'm getting really quiet now because that was an intense loss. Like, that loss was not fun. Not fun whatsoever. So, we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. But, next episode, guys, we're going to head out and keep on moving with the episode and try to hopefully be able to get another team member that can replace either Tubbs or Jazz Hands. But, anyway, guys, thank you for coming out. Leave a comment down below to answer a question today. The uh, questions, I guess, if you want to use both of them. First question being, is Iggy a cross-dresser? <laughs> the most important question of the two. The second question being what do you what would you guys name a new series focusing on weird kind of Pokemon sets for competitive battling and you know showing them off what would you get name that series for me and I would love to hear you guys cool random names for that down in the comment section below leave a like if you enjoy the video because plus I would very much enjoy it I'm gonna kind of stop saying the whole soak up thing because I was asking about it, it doesn't really make sense but fuck it leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'm Carson on toxic gaming I'm going to head on out, so I'm just going to see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>